evening, everyone. Uh, today, I'm left to my own devices, so I'm gonna go pedal around Portland and make some paintings. We're gonna head over to my favorite extinct volcano in town, and that is Mount Tabor. Coming up to Lad's uh, Circle, and every year people ride a century around this big circle. I think the distance, or the number of laps is 666. Not going to do that today, though. I think we got super lucky and just picked the, the perfect weather window to be here. Not too hot, not too cold. It's absolutely perfect. Definitely don't be fooled though because weather is not always like this. I'm gonna attest to that. But when it's good, it's really good. So my favorite way going up Tabor is to take uh, Harrison to uh, Lincoln. Not very much traffic, pretty chill. And uh, you also pass some bike shops like uh, Joe Bike here on the left. Let's see if they're open. So this is a uh, Joe bike. They carry a lot of uh, commuter style bikes, uh, adventure bikes. They sell a lot of uh, Soma Wolverine. And it also looks like they uh, have some Marin bikes. Cool. Let's see what's out here. A lot of Kona and a lot of uh, 650D. Awesome to see. So because Tabor is an old volcano, that means we're gonna be going uphill to get to the top. Uh, we've been gently climbing, but it does get a little bit steeper along the way. So that over there is a little community garden. That's Mount Tabor, and we we'll start climbing soon. Oh man, I totally missed this ride. <laughs> this is like my go-to place for hill repeats. So you can see up there, uh, the ride goes up, a little bit of a switchback, and just work our way up to Tabor. <laughs> It's generally pretty mellow. There are some uh, gravel ways up there. A little steeper than I want to take with the Brompton today. But we'll get up there. Another reason I wanted to come up here is uh, the light's so dramatic. Lots of dappled light. Makes for good painting. Just imagine a, a, cy a cyclist in silhouette going up this hill. All right guys, switching to the Chessie camp for this part because it does get steep. Not quite double digits. I think it pops out at 9%. So the Brompton, not known for being the best climbing bike, but it actually does pretty well. When you hop on this thing, it's really strange and disorienting, but after a while, the acclimate. I'm gonna have to get out of the saddle here in a second. Oh, there. Oh. Okay, so that was uh, the steepest part back there. Still some climbing, not as steep, and we start looking for places to paint. So you can see what I mean. I mean, if you look behind me, uh, what I mean in terms of light and shadow is off the hook here. Last gate before the top. Oh, this little winding road here. It's awesome. Okay, near the top. Usually, this is where if I still had the legs, I'd try to sprint to the finish. <laughs> Maybe not today. <laughs> so I found a nice little spot here. I'm gonna paint this kind of road that goes into the park. Lots of cool shadows and light. We'll see if I can capture it. <laughs> it is just like stunning here today. All right, so I just finished the uh, rough pencil sketch. Hopefully that shows up. Uh, let's see what it looks like with some paint. It's gonna be tough to capture. A lot of little highlights to protect. Let's see if I can pull it off. So we got the first wash down. Start to fill in some of the uh, trees there.
painting so far. That's the scene. Um, I think I'm going to add the cyclist. This part's always really stressful because it's, it's a good way to, to F up the whole thing, but we'll see what we can do here. Okay, I think I'm gonna call this one done. I wanna do one more while I'm here. So we'll go to another part of the park and make one more uh, quick painting. Uh, scratch that. <laughs> I was gonna paint some more. And I'm actually getting kind of hungry. This painting and peddling thing is uh, it's a bit of a workout. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I might do one more uh, video while we're in Portland. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> we'll see how that works out. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see more of this content, let me know. And as always, keep the self-aside down.